in this video we're going to be testing out this Eagle Nexus power station. It's basically a battery power generator um, and we're going to be using it on this Medea 7 cubic foot chest freezer. The example of when you would use it, say power goes out and this is an emergency, uh, we'd want to keep our food from spoiling. So we're going to test this machine out and see if uh, how long it would actually run it for. What I have here is four batteries. They are fully charged just recently. I have two 7.5 batteries and two 5.0 batteries. So this thing can run on 2.5 batteries all the way to 7.5, but uh, these are the only ones I have at this time. So all we gotta do in order to get this going is hit the power button for the plugs, open it up. As you can see, we'll uh, plug it in and then we're gonna run it and I'll show you the time. Right now it is currently 4.40. Um, what I'll do is I'll open up the chest freezer about two or three times throughout the, the night and see uh, if that affects it. At the end of the video, I'm also going to show uh, links and I'll also show some below of other videos and testing this machine against other uh, items around the house. Plug it in and we'll let it run. So the first thing you'll notice is the time up here. Uh, this shows how much runtime it has. So as you see right there, the time will start fluctuating depending on how much uh, energy is being drawn from the chest freezer and of course the compressor will turn on and off as needed. As of now uh, it's kind of staying stable but you'll see uh, down the road. Don't mind that but we're gonna go off of a uh, 4.40 start time and then uh, I'll come back every couple hours and uh, we'll check it and see uh, when this uh, when the batteries actually die thing I want to mention is these batteries can be replaced while the machine is running. Say you had extra batteries that, that you purchased, um, you can actually remove one and, and replace it whenever you wanted to. So it's a pretty good uh, thing to do to have extra batteries. Also another thing is the way this machine works is it drains batteries like as you can see here. It'll drain one, uh, take some charge from that, then it'll go to two, then it'll go to three, then it'll move on to four. And it keeps doing that so it will keep changing from battery to battery so all of them will start draining at the same time which is one thing that I don't like about the machine because um, you can't actually just have one battery drain at once remove that one replace it with a brand new fresh one and then the machine will go on to the next one that's just one thing with this machine that's the way it's done one little thing that I didn't particularly like but I'm sure there's a reason for it here we are it is now the next day at 1 45 p.m. So that gives us about 21 hours, I believe, of runtime. Um, as you can see, the machine went down to a zero. It shows me low power and it does still have some battery left. So we will let it run until the machine completely dies down. Um, throughout this test, I opened up the chest freezer four times for approximately one minute. Remember that you can run this uh, generator indefinitely as long as you change out the batteries. Um, so it depends on how many uh, spare batteries you have. Um, will depend on how long you can run this uh, generator for. Two 7.5, two 5.0 will, as of now, run it for approximately 21 hours. Um, and here's the thing that you can see. Well, you can see all the batteries completely went out just now. So, Let's, uh, there you go. It's completely uh, done. Gave us 21 hours and approximately five minutes. That shows you exactly how long uh, my setup will run a chest freezer for. Um, is it worth the money? Um, it all depends on what you need it for and what your needs are. So this is just showing you what a machine can and can't do. Appreciate you guys watching.